Hey guys, it's Teeksy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another class setup video here in Black Ops Cold War. And today, guys, we are focusing on the Farah 83 assault rifle. So I've got two gameplays for you today, one on standoff, one on echelon. The standoff game was quite funny. I literally couldn't get like more three or four kills in a row the whole game. I felt like we were shooting quite well. There was just every time I was shooting, I'd get traded by someone. Like they were playing really well as a team. And in the second game on echelon, we do a lot better. We go on quite a big streak. Possibly could have got a nuke. If I could have got one or two more kills with my gun, I probably would have got a second heart. And we might have been able to get it over the line. But yeah, it wasn't quite meant to be. So um, it is live commentary today, guys. So I'm going to leave you with the rest of the gameplay now. And as always, if you're interested in the class setup, I'll catch you at the end of the video. I'm, I'm more than happy to keep getting kills on the guy who's not playing. The guy top of their team is on a huge streak. I thought we'd use the uh, reactive uh, fire as well. Handy nade. Enemy heart, above. <sighs> Enemy heart already? What is going on? Never mind, we'll get rid of his hand cannon. No, I wanted to get out. I need to reload. Now, I know one of those guys wasn't playing, but I'll, I'll take the four piece. I feel like I am going to have to give in soon and do a Tech Nine video. I've not, I've not done one for a while. I always just feel so dirty using the Tech Nine, but I mean, everyone does it. God, I keep getting myself into good positions, but there's like there's just so many of them to, to trade it out. Oh, I just can't. I can't get a break. I cannot get away. I literally just get traded. Like one, two kills traded. One, two kills traded. No, got to win those. Although he was using LC10, so he is favoured in that situation. Oh, fuck you Honestly, I just get traded after every kill. Stop drop shotting with the Tech 9, bro. I want to keep plugging away with the fire. I mean, we're not miles away from a harp. If we can get something together, we just literally spent the whole game just getting one, two, three kills. Yeah, put your smoke grenade away, fella. I knew he was there, but I had to take that other gunfight. I just, come on. Please, let me get like five kill streak at least. I feel like I've not had one yet. Of course, that guy gets the timing on me. I think if that guy had turned on me. No, how is he not dead there? I swear he was weak. Alright, let's get the harp in. Enemy 
We're from, of course, of course. He's just everywhere, that guy is. He's absolutely everywhere on the map all of the time. What? This has just been such a weird game. It's just always, they've just got everything on the map. They have absolutely everything. And they've got a sentry gun in there as well. Let's see if we can actually put together more than like three kills in a row. Because the last game I used this, it was just trade after trade after trade. I do not like when people are running at me with marshals, I'll be honest, but that is a handy little little nine spree. I think we have to give up some positioning though, because it's getting a bit risky. I don't like this. I do not like being isolated at B, I'll be honest. No! I don't know where he came from. He must have done that jump up. Oh my god, we got so lucky there. Oh my god, how do we snap onto him? What is going on here? I'm going to watch the flank, I think. Hopefully team can hold from the front. You don't. No! No, he snaps onto us. I thought we had that gunfight. Oh, I feel like we were one or two away from another half as well. That could have been huge.
thought I saw someone cross there for a second. Harp is in, but it's going to be too late on the bomb. Happy days, we do pick up the W. Okay guys, so this was the Farah 83 build that I was using in today's video. So for the optic, you know by now I was running the Microflex LED. If there's ever an AR or something on this game where I don't feel comfortable with the iron sight, I will always run the Microflex LED. It's just the best and cleanest uh, sight in the game in my opinion. For the muzzle, I was running the Spectresense Compensator plus 12% on the vertical recoil control. You do lose a little bit on the horizontal recoil control, but we will gain that back a little bit later on in the class setup. For the barrel, I was running the 19.5 Liberator for 100% on bullet velocity. You do lose a bit of aim, walk, and movement speed, but this is quite a fast AR anyway, so you won't really notice too much of a difference. For the underbarrel, I was running the Spetsnaz Grip for 2% on vertical recoil control, but we do gain back 18% on the horizontal recoil control, and we did lose a little bit earlier on. Again, losing some shooting move speed, but you can still get quite active with this gun. For the magazine, I ran the 40 round mag. Again, like I say, this is quite a fast gun in terms of ARs but you don't want to lose too much more speed. So I think it's better to run the 40 round mag, lose a little bit of reload speed, but it's not the end of the world. So yeah, this is the class setup guys. Try this one out and let me know what you think. The Fire 83, without doubt, a really underrated AR in this game. But yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do hit the like button down below. If you are brand new around here and want to find your way back for more, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And as always guys, I hope it was a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one.